Hi there, fire catchers. This is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags, and this is the weekly Your Place for Weekly Worship Encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. So we're a little bit behind schedule today. I forgot that I had a hair appointment, and so I got my hair trimmed a little bit. I've already messed it up. But so how are you doing? How is your week going? Are you, hey Joni, how is, how's the weather where you are, Joni? And Jennifer, is it still really warm in in uh, Oklahoma? I am absolutely loving the fall colors. It's definitely fall now. I was just telling Joni in a side conversation that it's kind of getting to be a little bit cooler. Uh, almost ready for toque season. Uh, thanks, Joni. Yes, I had my hair done. And the I've actually been wearing, I actually had to get out a jacket today, or actually last night. Today I went for a walk, it was beautiful, I could just wear a light, a light shirt. So how is the gratitude challenge going for you? I'm going to talk about that, I want to make sure that we're still on, uh, on board with that and what's going on, and I just wanted to mention a couple of things in regards to the to the challenge the, and what I wanted to say is first if you want if you want abundance if you want increased blessing in your life the best way and the first way to do that is actually through gratitude and we get that exp that example from Jesus when he was feeding the 5,000 when they were having a, a grand old picnic and there wasn't enough food the scriptures tell us that he took the food, looked towards heaven, ble blessed it, thanked the Father, and then he broke it. And then there was more than enough. And so if we want to, to move into abundance, move into the abundance of heaven, and there is absolutely zero lack in the kingdom of God. And if you are experiencing lack start to be start to express your gratitude and watch how that how, what that changes and if you I, I love psychology and I am probably a novice psychology researcher like a psychology geek I really like dr. Carolyn leaf and she talks a lot about rewiring your brain and so if you stick with this gratitude challenge I know that at the end of the seven weeks, you will actually be re, have rewired your brain to accept and, and to receive a lot more increase. It will actually change the way you think. When you talk, when Romans 12 one says that be transformed by the renewing of your mind, this is one of the ways that we want to renew our mind is actually through gratitude. And so uh, if you are not part of the fire catchers group and you are not in the fire catchers Facebook group, uh, I very much encourage you to now is the time to join us in there. We have a daily challenge a daily posting where we're it's the gratitude challenge and we just get to to say a piece of what we're grateful for and I want to and so we're on day three it's been great there's lots of engagement and I really want to encourage you to stay with it stay the course so if you are in the group great continue on if you're not get in the group and start posting start seeing your 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 brain actually gets rewired start doing that and as we move forward, right now we're still in the very freshness of the whole gratitude challenge. And it is, we have a lot of big things to be thankful for. For the most part, if you're in North America, there is so much that we have to be thankful for just in the very place that we live. That, I mean, the beauty of where we live, the, the freedoms that we have, those are all really great things. But I'm telling you that if you stick with this challenge, it's going to be a little bit more difficult as you're trying to think of things to be grateful for and you start to re-change the way you think. And I know this because a few years ago, I did this for a full year, 365 days of grateful. And I know that it was really easy at the beginning. 
I had a lot of things to be thankful for. And then it started to get, oh, what am I going to be thankful for today? What, do I gonna, what am I going to notice? And, and so there was just this lull of, okay, I was kind of pushing it. And then, and then it was as if it's kind of like getting, if you're exercising and you're just getting stronger and you're and you kind of move into that rhythm at the first part you're like start off really strong and then you kind of get into this tired tired state and you're like oh I don't know if I can go but if you push past that's when we see the change that's when we see the transport transformation in our minds and so I just encourage you that if you're we're gonna get to that point probably in in, in a week or two where we will all probably get to that point we're like oh what am I gonna be I'm just making up things just keep pushing keep pushing we've got seven weeks to do this we're gonna do the gratitude challenge from October 8th which is the Canadian Thanksgiving we just had until the American Thanksgiving on November 23rd so keep going that's in the I'm gonna have details I'll edit this the link so that you have the link for the for the fire catchers group uh, and just a couple of things coming up we have the fire catchers classroom this Saturday Rosie Bowden our favorite is teaching us about worship flags so that's this Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time again I'll put the deets on the uh, in the post uh, also in the next the 26th so that's in two weeks and 26 we are our book club I've got a very special guest that's going to be joining us it's a surprise I think that you'll enjoy it uh, and that we are reading Chuck Pierce's book worship warrior again I'll put the the details so that you can pick up that book and I encourage you even if you haven't read the book or finished the book join us in in the book club we just say it's a great place for us to actually see and hear each other get off of Facebook we use zoom tech we use zoom video conferencing and it just gets us off the social media and actually we can see and hear each other and it really does bond us uh, even even more so uh, and finally trending this week it trending worship flags is the consuming fire Jennifer Bennett once again you are right on cue and the I've actually got a couple more consuming fire flags to ship out for Friday I didn't get them done yesterday because because of how popular it's been this week so this is the tr part of our traveler collection and this is the consuming fire because the Lord is um, he's on the move and he is consuming he is an all-consuming fire and um, and perhaps it's it's part and parcel of the gratitude challenge that we're doing uh, also I want to let you know I, ha I don't think I have any questions that I've noticed in the group but I kind of keep my eye on the group and on the page if there are any questions any worship like questions or worship or or really if there's a question that you have that I can answer I'm going to do that on the weekly and, and that would be Wednesday most likely you do it on Wednesdays I think that's it I'm gonna give it just a second if anyone has questions right now I'd be happy to answer if not I'm gonna hop off and just say thanks so much for watching guys I'm sorry that it was a bit later than I was expecting I just I just really love seeing all of the gratitude challenge comments that you're making in the group it's just it's so great and I can hardly wait to see see the te hear the testimonies see and hear the testimonies of actually what's changed for us come November 20 uh, Thanksgiving and you American Thanksgiving so have a great night guys I uh, really enjoy the group love you all talk to you later bye bye